So we gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. So good morning. Good morning, Father. So um, today is the feast of uh, Saint Barnabas, and um, so he's regarded as a, an apostle. So the, um, let us place ourselves before the Lord now, ask him to be with us and to listen to all the prayers in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and deed, and we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw that the grace of God, when he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he, then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and set them off. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, <coughs> sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belt, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walk or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So Barnabas, the, um, is one of the most uh, important uh, uh, figures in the New Testament. Uh, although he, we we don't get uh, too much uh, about him, uh, he was uh, very prominent, and they wouldn't refer to him as an apostle if he wasn't very prominent in the early church. But we only have uh, Luke uh, to write about him. But Luke was more interested in Paul, and uh, so the. Um, so he uh, fades away into the history. Uh, his real name was Joseph, but the uh, apostles called him uh, Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. And so, um, so he must have been uh, very good at uh, encouraging people in the faith. And uh, so he was a Levite Jew, uh, a native of Cyprus, and that's why he's the patron saint of uh, Cyprus. Uh, beautiful country, uh, divided now. Uh, there's a Greek section and a Turkish section. And um, uh, if you ever go to Cyprus, the Turkish section is cheaper. <laughs> it's, um, so the, um, <clears throat> uh, but he, he, uh, he settled in Jerusalem and he was one of the first converts after the resurrection of uh, Jesus. And one of the things that he sold some land and brought the proceeds to the apostles to help feed the uh, the widows and uh, those that they were looking after. So the um, he was not one of the twelve, but he was um, uh, uh, regarded as very important. And probably one of the most important things he did was recognize the talent of Paul. And it was Barnabas who assured the uh, apostles. Uh, of his, the genuineness of his conversion. Uh, and after Paul was converted, uh, because he had been persecuting Christians, uh, they didn't trust him. And that's probably why he went to Saudi Arabia, because uh, they were all wary of him. And, you know, they probably didn't associate much with him. And so he went uh, off to Saudi Arabia for three to five years. It's, uh, we don't know exactly how long. And uh, Barnabas went and, um, and sought him out in Saudi Arabia because he'd been appointed uh, to work in Antioch. And so he brought um, uh, Paul along to help him with the mission there. And in the Acts of the Apostles, uh, there's a very clear development. Uh, Luke is very careful in how he shows the development. Uh, first, the group is led by Barnabas. Then it's Barnabas and Paul. And then it's Paul and Barnabas. And then finally, just Paul. And uh, so Luke uh, does that uh, transition very skillfully and almost imperceptibly. So the, um, and as often happens, the mentor and protege, um, you know, it's often a stormy relationship. And somewhere along the line uh, in uh, one of the missions, of uh, Paul on one of the mission tours, uh, they have an argument. Uh, Barnabas and John Mark go back uh, to Jerusalem and Paul continues on his journey. Um, but later on, John Mark is uh, um, reconciled with Paul because we see him in uh, uh, Colossians. The, um, and so one of the things about uh, the New Testament is that they don't try to hide the blemishes of any of the uh, star people. 
They, they don't try to cover them up or anything. They show them as they are. Because they're not saints because they're perfect people. They're saints because they put the gospel into their lives. That's the difference. You don't have to be perfect. But to uh, put the gospel into your heart and uh, to live it from that. So, um, interesting. Now, have you ever come across uh, the Gospel of Barnabas? Uh, interesting book. It was written by a 16th century monk. And uh, he had some beef with the church about something, we don't know what. Uh, but the way he describes uh, Palestine, it, it, you know, you're walking through Italy. He, uh, the topography is Italy, it's not Palestine. And, uh, but why that, that became important was, um, it, what he does was, uh, in the Gospel of Barnabas, Jesus performs one other miracle that's not in the other Gospels. He makes Judas look like himself. And so when the soldiers come, it's Judas they take. And it's Judas they crucify. And then three days later, Jesus says, Hey, here I am. <laughs> now, what's important about that is, uh, Colonel Gaddafi, when he was hosting um, a meeting of all the uh, Arab nations had a book uh, in front of every uh, seat um, the Quran and the Gospel of Barnabas because the Jews or the, the Arabs a lot of the, the Muslims believe that um, uh, this is the true story and this is the true story of Jesus and that's why um, you know it's, um, it's dangerous because uh, that's what they believe, that this is the, he didn't die and uh, was resurrected, it was Judas. So, the, uh, so, uh, so if you ever come across the Gospel of Barnabas, that's the story behind it. And so let us pray now this morning. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the Sisters of the Sacred Hearts who are on retreat this week. Traditionally on Thursdays of the retreat we have the Jubilarian celebrations. So congratulations to any sister who is celebrating an anniversary of their profession. May the Lord continue to bless you all in your ministries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who are professed religious of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. May the Lord bless us with new vocations to continue the mission of the community. We also pray for the lay associates of the community that the Lord will bless them in their enthusiasm for the Sacred Heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are ill in our communities, especially Sister Grace Marie Tom and Father Pat O'Hagan. May the Lord send his healing spirit upon them and return them to full health very shortly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for a faith which is alive with charity, radiating to others the love of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the people of Cyprus, placing under the patronage of Barnabas, that their divided island will be reunited in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let us make our own special petition now to the Lord. Father, we offer you these prayers and all the prayers in our hearts through the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed 
And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. And let us pray. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. And let us lift up our hearts. Let us to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firmly on the apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending and with all the angels we sing to all the, with all our hearts Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of honor, all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time... He was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant to be shed for you and for many so that sins will be forgiven do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially all the brothers and sisters of the Sacred Hearts who have gone to the Lord, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, St. Joseph, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And also 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs and the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so there was a, a guy and uh, he thought he'd, he'd figured it out. He'd finally figured it out. How to remember the wife's birthday, uh, the anniversary of the wedding, uh, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. He finally figured it out. He opened an account at the florist. And so, um, so without him having to think about it, flowers arrived uh, on those four occasions. <clears throat> and all was going swimmingly until one day he came home from work and he said to the wife, nice flowers, where did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing uh, I do tell young guys who are getting married, I say, do you know how to always remember your anniversary? Forget it once. Oh, there you go. <laughs>